what's good pizza holics behind me is a place called ambrosino's if you guys caught my live tour my staten island live tour where i went and sampled bagels and pizzas i stopped by this place it's been here for over 20 years sitting in an old shopping plaza very old shopping plaza lots of old italian specialty shops old diners good old staten island shopping plaza pizza one thing about Staten Island, and my experience eating pizza in Staten Island, one thing is for sure, even though a pizzeria is nestled in a shopping plaza between florists and liquor stores, that doesn't mean it's not good. So let's go find out, guys. Let's go eat. <laughs> All right, guys, let's not waste any time because this pizza looks greasy and the grease is trickling towards the edge of the plate and onto my car seat. So let's go and grab one real fast, guys. Typical New York style, guys, in the quintessential form. Low moisture cheese. Floppy. Ooh. Oh, boy. A little bit of a grease job, a little bit of a soup job. I'm gonna need my plate for this one, guys. He just reheated it. It just came out of the oven. Five minutes ago, the man said. And uh, it is absolutely, uh, need I say more? Let's try the other slice, guys. Pretty much the same story. Pretty much the same story. Guys, if I don't eat this right now, it's just gonna fall apart in my lap. Messy pizza here, guys. Messy. All right, fellas, ladies and gents, it's about that time to move on into the lab and get a closer look and analyze Ambrosino's standard cheese pizza, or as we say here in Staten Island, and in New York City, the regular slice. Now I'm trying to be nice here, guys. I'm trying to be nice, okay? I'm gonna start with the positives. It was floppy, it was soggy. It's one thing being floppy, but it's another thing being soggy, especially after a reheat. Okay, you see the sog? That's all sog. And that that is, when I see that, uh, it's pretty much all over for me. <laughs> but <laughs> on the positive note, guys, let's start with the positives, all right? The cheese to sauce ratio was pretty damn good. It's not 50 50, it's on the cheesy side of the spectrum, that's for sure. But it's not a dry slice, it was pretty juicy. Tomato sauce, evident. Nice color on the tomato sauce. It's not that dry burgundy stuff, you know what I mean? Nice color, little subtle sweetness. Nothing too sweet or pasty. Maybe a little on the pasty side, but I've had worse sauce than that. Spread to the edge, all right? On the positive note, guys, let's start on a positive note here. Let's all be positive, despite being in the presence of negative folks. Here, the pizza has cooled down. It's no longer crackling. It wasn't really crackling that much before either. A little bit, there is some crisp. It's a bit pliable, it kind of cracks when you bend it. Uh, not, not the most pliable, I should say. It cracks when you bend the pizza. Very bread sticky crust. Uh, the, the cheese was a bit greasy. The taste wasn't too bad though. I gotta tell you right now, guys, the cheese, I've had blander cheese than this and oilier cheese than this. I think maybe they just put too much. In this case, I think there's just way too much mozzarella on it because the quality seems pretty nice. It, it doesn't seem like it's that low quality crap because the viscosity uh, wasn't exactly low. It wasn't that low viscosity fatty mots, mutts that you find on some pizzas. Uh, it had some bite, man. It, it, it had some viscosity to it. I think maybe they just put too much and the crust simply cannot handle it. As made evident there from all the sog 
all that wet dough. I do not like wet bread, guys. Guys, it's about that time. The pizza gets cold. You give it another fold. I'm not expecting much here, guys. No longer crackling, doughy. Uh, just as floppy as I remembered it moments ago, folks. Flip, flippity flop. With New York pizza, I start at a 7.5. I call it party pizza. Old Davy Bar Pie calls it football pizza. Uh, it's the pizza you order when you're watching football games, sports, and all that. Uh, typically, a whole pie of New York style pizza out here will run you 12 bucks the most. A non margarita pie. Margaritas typically run you 17 bucks. Uh, and, you know, in, in the typical, you know, pizzerias. I'm not talking about Pizzeria Jove, where you know, you're going to spend $30 a pie. I'm talking about quintessential New York pizza. Party pizza is what I call it. 10 bucks a pie, 12 bucks a pie, you feed everybody. I start at a 7.5 because, well, most pizzas out here, generic New York pizza, are 7.5s. A lot of them taste pretty much the same, and they're very good, and I love them. And I love these pizzas. I love this style of pizza. A really good New York slice, high 7, 7.8, seven, 7.9, seven, like scars. A subpar uh, New York pizza, 7.2. You know, the greasier one, 7.2, 7.1. And then there's the ones in the sixes that need work, usually those really floppy ones such as this. Uh, occasionally I'll vote. Occasionally I'll find a really good New York slice like Joe's in Manhattan, which are in the low eights, mid eights, uh, as well as Luigi's. Those are exceptional pizzas. Louis and Ernie's in the Bronx, or should I say Louis and Ernie's in the Bronx. Exceptional New York pizza. Those are in the low eights. This one, guys. How does this stand out? on its own how does it compare to the rest why do i have to drive here 10 minutes from my house when i can get the same pizza five minutes away from my house that's what i'm telling myself and the answer is uh, there is no reason to drive out here <laughs> five extra minutes to get this when i can get the same slice somewhere else or, or in this case a better slice guys i can't give this a high score and it is not uh, you can get up you can get better pizza out here i'd say uh, on the on the positive note look that this place is known for a lot of things they make a lot of good food their rolls look good their rice balls look good they make amazing soups stracciatella i don't know many pizzerias out here that make stracciatella so come out here for the pan stuff the stuff they specialize in this is probably not something i'd recommend uh, but it, it wasn't entirely bad i like the cheese i like the cheese i just think the crust needs work uh, the sauce was pretty good too so I can't go more than a 6.3. 6.3 out of 10 edible, I can find better stuff out here. I recommend Salon Lloyd's or Giuseppe's down Amboy Road. Uh, so that's a wrap, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It is what it is, I, you know, honest opinion. If you happen to be in the neighborhood, stop by Novelli's Italian Goods. And uh, if you're hungry and you want a slice for $2.50, hey, it's, it's it hit the spot, I ain't gonna lie. It's a 6-3 pizza. Hit the spot. There's there's worse out there, I can guarantee you that. So be well, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Can you do me a favor and hit that like? Hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. If you want to donate, you, you could always do that uh, by hitting the PayPal button on my cover banner or hit the link in my description. Until next time, keep those bellies full, folks. This is Antonio signing off.